Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Review. Today we have Dogfish Head Sequench Ale. So if you're new to my channel, I'm not a huge sour guy. Um, I do like uh, the Russian River Sours I've had, and I have a few of those I'm going to be reviewing at some point. Uh, a lot of beer to get through. Uh, and I do actually like this one. Um, and I wasn't going to review it because I guess not a style I love, but uh, Brad Allison and his wife, uh, if you don't watch uh, his reviews, uh, 31st Brewing, uh, but it's Brad Allison. I'm trying to remember put a link. So they did it, and they didn't get a lot of the salt uh, in it, and that made me curious, do I get a lot of the salt in it? So uh, if you know anything about this beer, it's 4.9% ABV. Um, it's, okay, so it's got lime juice, lime peel, black limes, and sea salt. So a lot of lime. That's probably why I like it. I love limes. I love uh, making uh, cocktails that have lime as a main ingredient. But, it, okay, anyway, so I don't drink these styles a lot. I think they do three different beers and brew them together, or, like, brew them separate, then mix them together, or like, brew them, then do something, then mix them. I think, like, a Kolsch, and then maybe two traditional styles of uh, uh, um, sours. And I literally, I talk about this. The name of my channel shouldn't be No Hyper. It should be I Just Clip My Fingernails. All these freaking cans. I, I literally just clipped my fingernails before I started trying to open this beer. All right, uh, let's get into the glass. I got my official, one of my official dogfish head glasses. This one's actually for high ABV beers, so I'm doing the opposite because I'm a rub. I'll do whatever I want. Drink one of their, if not, I think this is dogfish head's lowest ABV beer, and I'm drinking one of their high ABV glasses. I'm a punk rocker. <laughs> cool can art. I think they come in big cans too. I think I saw that down when I was at the brewery a couple months ago. Uh, good finger and a half ahead. That's what it looks like. Let's get into the aroma. So, Brad Allison and his wife, they were saying, they, or at least, or he said, one of them said, or they both said it, has a little bit of a lager aroma to it, like a little bit of what I call lager funk. So I definitely smell that. You do get lime. Um, this is just under two months old, so whatever that's worth. Um, so you do get lime. For it being, like, if you read the side of the can, lime juice, lime peel, and li uh, black limes, um, you know, I would think it'd be, like, crazy lime in the nose. Um, it is there, but it's not overpowering. Like, it doesn't smell like a cleaning product to me. And then you do get a little bit of that ocean smell from the salt, I'm going to assume, the sea salt. So, except for that lime not being so, like, overpowering, uh, it smells exactly what I would think it should smell like, based on what I know about this beer from the can. Uh, let's get into the taste. Cheers. So, for my money, it has a good level of, um, of pucker to it. It's not too much, but it's definitely there. You know, uh, you're drinking something that's sour. Uh, it has a nice tartness to it little bit of sweetness there, but it really is more that puckering, tartness, sourness. I definitely get the lime. Uh, the black lime, I saw when I was on a tour at Dogfish Head. I mean, literally like tiny little black ball. I think, do they, do they dry them in salt maybe? It was something like that is how you get them, uh, according to the tour guide. But anyway, so I do get some of that lime. And then, and this, again, was the reason I wanted to try it, is those guys were saying, um, Brad and his wife, that they didn't get a lot of salt. And I don't, I think I'm kind of sensitive to salt. I definitely get traces of salt. I, I will say I do get some salt in this. But the lime, definitely more so than the salt. The tart, a little bit of funkiness the uh, sourness itself, all that stuff is more than the salt, but there is definitely to me an underlying amount of salt in this uh, taste, which I think makes those flavors burst a little bit. Uh, some people in my area describe this as a sour beer for people who don't like sours. That would be me. Uh, <laughs> I don't like sours. I like this beer. Um, I don't know if I could crush a bunch though. Again, it's not my style though. Let me do one more sip. Maybe I could have two more than two cans on a nice hot day. It does happen to be a really hot day, which is why I put this to the front of my queue. 
of beers to review right now. Thank you for watching. I always appreciate it. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.